Gestiner 1 caproate, also known as gestronol hexanoate or norhydroxyprogesterone caproate and sold under the brand names Depostad and Primostad, is a progestin medication which is used in the treatment of enlarged prostate, endometrial cancer, and breast cancer. It is not effective by mouth and must be given by injection into muscle, typically once a week. Side effects of Gestiner 1 caproate include worsened glucose tolerance, decreased libido in men, and injection site reactions. Gestiner 1 caproate is a progestin, or a synthetic progestogen, and hence is an agonist of the progesterone receptor, the biological target of progestogens like progesterone. It has no other important hormonal activity. Gestiner 1 caproate was discovered in 1960 and was introduced for medical use by 1973. It has been used widely throughout Europe, including in the United Kingdom, and has also been marketed in certain other countries such as Japan, China, and Mexico. However, it has since mostly been discontinued, and it remains available today only in a handful of countries, including the Czech Republic, Japan, Mexico, and Russia. Medical uses Gestiner 1 caproate is used in the palliative treatment of benign prostatic hypertrophy and advanced endometrial cancer and breast cancer. It is used at a dose of 100 to 200 mg once a week by intramuscular injection. Side effects Side effects of Gestiner 1 caproate have been reported to include worsened glucose tolerance, decreased libido in men, and local injection site reactions such as irritation. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Gestiner 1 caproate is a potent, long acting, and pure progestogen, possessing no androgenic, anabolic, antiandrogenic, estrogenic, antiestrogenic, glucocorticoid, mineralocorticoid, or teratogenic effects. When all are given by subcutaneous injection, it is approximately 20 to 25 times more potent than progesterone and hydroxyprogesterone caproate in animal bioassays. In humans, 100 or 200 mg intramuscular gestiner 1 caproate has been said to be equivalent to 1,000 mg intramuscular hydroxyprogesterone caproate. Like other potent progestins, gestiner 1 caproate possesses potent antigonadotropic activity and is capable of markedly suppressing the gonadal production and circulating levels of sex hormones such as testosterone and estradiol. A clinical study found that 400 mg per week intramuscular gestiner 1 caproate suppressed testosterone levels by 75% in men, while orchiectomy as a comparator reduced testosterone levels by 91%. Levels of luteinizing hormone, conversely, remained unchanged. In accordance with its lack of glucocorticoid activity, gestiner 1 caproate has no anticorticotropic effects, and does not influence the secretion of adrenocorticotropic hormone. 17 alpha hydroxyprogesterone has weak progestogenic activity, but C17 alpha esterification results in higher progestogenic activity. Of a variety of different esters, the caproate hexanoate ester was found to have the strongest progestogenic activity, and this formed the basis for the development of gestiner 1 caproate, as well as other caproate progestogen esters such as hydroxyprogesterone caproate. Gestiner 1 caproate has been found to decrease the weights of the prostate gland and seminal vesicles by 40 to 70 percent in adult male rats. It has been shown in canines to mediate these effects both via its antigonadotropic effects and by direct actions in these tissues. Gestiner 1 caproate decreases the uptake of testosterone into the prostate gland. It has also been found to have direct antiproliferative effects on human ovarian cancer cells in vitro. Gestiner 1 caproate has been reported to act to some extent as a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, similarly to progesterone. Pharmacokinetics Like the closely related progestins hydroxyprogesterone caproate and 19 norprogesterone, gestiner 1 caproate shows poor activity orally and must be administered parenterally, specifically, via intramuscular injection. Gestiner 1 caproate is administered by intramuscular injection, and acts as a long-lasting depot by this route. After an intramuscular injection, gestiner 1 caproate is completely released from the local depot and is highly bioavailable. At high doses, the duration of action of gestiner 1 caproate by intramuscular injection has been found to be at least 21 days. 
Clinical studies have found gestiner one caproate to be satisfactorily effective as a progestogen when injected once a month, whereas it was poorly effective as an injectable contraceptive when it was injected once every two months. Following a single intramuscular injection of 200 mg radiolabeled gestiner one caproate in 1 ml of solution in men with prostate cancer, maximal levels of gestiner one caproate occurred after 3 plus or minus 1 days and were 420 plus or minus 160 nanograms per milliliter. The elimination half-life of gestiner 1 caproate and its metabolites was 7.5 plus or minus 3.1 days. Approximately 5% of the radioactive steroid content in the blood was unchanged gestiner 1 caproate. No free gestiner 1 was observed in circulation or in urine. Gestiner 1 caproate and its metabolites were eliminated 72% in feces and 28% in urine. Approximately 48 plus or minus 18% of the injected dose had been eliminated after 14 days and approximately 85 plus or minus 12% of the injected dose had been excreted after 30 days. The metabolism of unesterified gestiner 1, 17-alpha-hydroxy-19 norprogesterone, is analogous to that of 17-alpha-hydroxy progesterone, with the corresponding 19 norpregnane metabolites produced. Gestiner 1 caproate has been found to undergo 5 alpha reduction similarly to progesterone, 17 alpha hydroxy progesterone, and gestiner 1, and at a similar rate as these steroids. Conversely, however, due to its caproate ester, 5 beta reduction of gestiner 1 caproate is decreased relative to these steroids. As progesterone is metabolized mainly into 5 beta pregnanes, decreased 5 beta reduction of gestiner 1 caproate may be involved in its greater potency compared to progesterone. The major metabolites of gestiner 1 caproate have been reported to be isomers of 19 norpregnanetriol and 19 NORPREGNANEDIOL21. These metabolites indicate that gestiner 1 caproate is metabolized mainly by reduction at the C3, C5, and C20 positions. Following an intramuscular injection of 300 mg gestiner 1 caproate, only a slight increase in urinary pregnanetriol excretion has been observed. Cleavage of the caproate ester of gestiner 1 caproate is minimal, which indicates that it is not a prodrug of the unesterified steroid. Chemistry Gestiner 1 caproate, also known as norhydroxyprogesterone caproate, 17 alpha hydroxy 19 norprogesterone 17 alpha hexanoate, or 17 alpha hydroxy 19 NORPREGN 4 en 3, 20 dione 17 alpha hexanoate, is a synthetic norpregnane steroid and a derivative of progesterone. It is specifically a combined derivative of 17 alpha hydroxy progesterone and 19 norprogesterone, or of gestrinol, 17 alpha hydroxy 19 norprogesterone, with a hexanoate, caproate, ester at the C17 alpha position. Analogues and derivatives of gestiner 1 caproate include algestone acetophenide, dihydroxyprogesterone acetophenide, demagestone, nomagestrol acetate, norgestimate, and segesterone acetate, as well as 18 methylsegesterone acetate and the caproate esters chlormidin 1 caproate, hydroxyprogesterone caproate, medroxyprogesterone caproate, megastrol caproate, and methanmadinone caproate. Synthesis Chemical syntheses of gestiner 1 caproate have been published. History Gestiner 1 caproate was first described in 1960. It was developed by Schering and has been marketed since at least 1973. Society and culture Generic names Gestiner 1 caproate is the generic name of the drug and its IN, USAN, and JAN, while gestrinol hexanoate is its BANM. It has also been referred to as norhydroxyprogesterone caproate, and is also known by its former developmental code names SHISH 582 and SHISH 80582. Brand names Gestiner 1 caproate has been marketed exclusively under the brand names Depostat and Primostat. Availability Gestiner 1 caproate has been available widely in Europe, including in the United Kingdom, and has also been marketed in Japan, China, Mexico, and certain other countries. 
However, it has been discontinued in most countries and its availability is more limited today. It appears to remain marketed only in the Czech Republic, Japan, Mexico, and Russia. It has not been marketed in the United States, Canada, and many other countries. Research Shish 834 was a combination of 90 mg estradiol valerate and 300 mg gestiner 1 caproate for weekly intramuscular injection that was developed by Schering in the 1970s. It was investigated clinically as a treatment for breast cancer and was found to be effective, but does not seem to have been marketed. Gestiner 1 caproate was studied by Schering for use as a progestogen only injectable contraceptive at a dose of 2.5 to 200 mg once every one or two months but was never marketed. There is very little clinical experience of gestiner 1 caproate for this indication. Gestiner 1 caproate has been studied in the treatment of ovarian cancer, in combination with cyclophosphamide, menstrual cycle related mouth ulcers, and as a component of menopausal hormone therapy. References <laughs>